It's now been a year since a local family lost their loved one to gun violence. 24 year old Bryce Persang was shot and killed last September. Thank you for joining us for NBC 4 at 7. I'm Sierra Johnson and for Colleen and I'm Carrie Charles. Police have identified but not yet arrested two suspects in Persang's murder. NBC 4's Eric Halperin is in Columbus. Eric, a year later, his mother continues her push for justice. And Sierra and Carrie, these past few days have been filled with all kinds of different emotions for her. The way she puts it, she is starting to grow around her grief. Every day, Catherine Persang takes her son with her in a necklace she wears. She says Bryce was the kind of person who always saw the good in people, was super close with his nephew, and would drop what he was doing to help others no matter the time. Last September 16th, he was shot and killed. Police identified two suspects in late June, 20-year-old Tahir Said and 19-year-old Hanat Abdul. I just checked with Columbus police today. Investigators say they believe the suspects have fled the country. That's very frustrating. Um, they've hit a wall with that. Um, yeah, we know who the suspects are, but being able to find them is another story. Um, so I have to fight this, this, go up this mountain in a different way, um, trying to find a way for his justice. And Persang is urging anyone who has information about her son's case or other cases to contact police. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.